Just do it one string at a time and I'll help you get there step by step. You can do this. Hi, I'm Christy Lynn from Learning the Harp, where we make learning to play the harp feel simple and doable. So if that's something that you feel like you need in your life, then consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and click to receive notifications because I'm uploading new helpful harp videos every week. Now let's get to, get to today's video. <laughs> so we're going to be learning how to change your harp from being in E flat tuning to C tuning. And now if you're not really sure what exactly I'm talking about at all, and you don't really know what it means or why you would choose to do that, then you need to watch the video I released. It's up there in the cards where I talk about what does it mean to change your tuning from one to C versus E flat and why you might choose to make that decision. Just a little summary of why you might want to change your tuning. If you're a total beginner and you really want to keep things simple, um, maybe your harp came in E flat tuning but you're finding it really confusing, it would be a good idea to change to C tuning because it helps you to understand the action of the levers and it just keeps things simple. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a tuning key. I've got two different colors, <laughs> um, but you probably came with a black one or a wooden one, that's totally fine. And um, you're also going to need some kind of tuner. Um, so I use a tuning app, my favorite one is Pano Tuner, um, but you might have a little electronic tuner that's separate to, um, to your phone. And either of those are totally fine. I'm going to be showing two up on the screen as I'm tuning. One is Pano Tuner that I always use and the other one is kind of more what you might be seeing if you're using an electronic tuner. So hopefully between the two of those you can kind of understand what to look for. And so we're going to get started now and um, you can follow along with me and just pause each time. I'm going to do the tuning of a note and then if you like you can pause the video and you tune that same note um, up into the right kind of pitch and then you unpause and you can just follow me step by step. Um, so what we're going to do is we're starting from the bottom of your harp. It's okay if your harp has fewer strings. In fact, I'm actually going to show you um, a little summary version at the end of how to do this with a lap harp or a smaller harp. It's really the same concept, um, but I'm going to start with my big harp. And you just go to the very bottom of your harp and you start with the bottom E, A or B, which everyone is closest to the bottom. And you're going to tune all of those notes up a half step. So every E, A and B string on your harp is going to be tuned up a half step. So they were flats and now they're going to become naturals. Before we get started with tuning, um, you need to put all your levers down and we're just going to check that your harp is in E flat tuning. So if you start with any E string, it should sound like that. It's an E flat. We're going up. have a happy major sound there, a major scale, when we start from an E string and work up to the next E string. Depending on how many strings your harp has, it might be like my lowest string of E, B or A is an E, but yours might be a different one. That's okay. Um, and you just pluck that string. So it's showing up as an E flat, you can see on, on my tuner. Um, and now I need to turn the, the key my tuning key so that it becomes a natural, so it starts getting higher. So I pluck first, and as I'm tuning the, uh, turning the tuning key, it should be getting higher like that. If it's getting lower, then you need to turn it the other way. It's getting higher. And eventually now, it starts registering on my tuner as an E instead of an E flat. And then I keep on going until it's in tune. Just a little note, if uh, depending on your tuner, your E flats might show up on your tuner as a D sharp. Um, and that's just for reasons we don't need to go into today. Um, but that's totally fine. The same thing applies. So if your tuner was showing your E string as a D sharp, you just tune it up until it registers as an E. And the same with a, it might show, instead of as an A flat, it might show as a G sharp on your tuner. And again, you just tune it up until it shows as an A. And the same with B, it might show as a A sharp or a B flat, and you're just going to tune it up until it becomes a B, just a plain B, which we call B natural. Okay, so now my E is done. 
And now I'm going to go up to the next string that's either an E, a B or an A. In my case, it's an A. So I just pluck first and then I start turning the key. Now it's registering as an A. And I keep on going until it's in tune. And you don't need to be too perfectionistic about getting it exactly in tune right now because your harp's actually going to be adjusting to this new tuning and um, it's going to go out of tune more quickly than it normally does. So I'm going to retune my harp after I've finished doing all of this. I'm just getting it approximately in tune right now. Now I'm doing the same thing for the B. And you don't need to be worried about damaging your strings or um, it's not going to hurt your harp in any way. Um, if you did this multiple times a day all the time, maybe it would be bad for your strings and they'd break more often. Um, but generally, if we're only doing this once in a blue moon, it's not going to be bad for your harp. Um, and if you do happen to break a string, it was probably going to break anyway. It was probably an old dud string and um, it's not your fault. So don't stress out about that. But you do want to make sure that you first pluck the string and then turn because you want to make sure that you're actually changing the string that you're that you're plucking because if you put your tuning key onto a different string and then you're turning and turning and turning and turning um, and it's not changing then what will happen is that other string is getting tighter and tighter and tighter and it could eventually break so to counteract that um, you probably won't have this problem because all you need to do is just pluck the string first and then make sure it's actually getting the, the, the pitch is changing as you're turning your hand. Okay, great, now that's an E. Let me do my next one. It's an A. So it's gonna start as an A flat, and now I'm gonna turn it until it becomes an A. <laughs> Jasper still looks quite chilled, so maybe he's used to this. <laughs> that's my B. Now we do the next one, the E. There we go. Keep going. And the next one. You, you might be finished before me because maybe you have a harp that has fewer strings, but it's going to be exactly the same concept. This is my next B. Now it's a B natural. It was a B flat. There we go, now that E has become an E natural. It was an E flat. Now my A and my B. And it's a little bit out of tune, but that's okay. I'm just gonna keep going because I'm gonna retune it afterwards to make sure it's perfectly in tune. And your harp's going to be a little cranky when you first retune it into a different key. So you're going to have to tune it multiple times, like every day, maybe multiple times a day until it settles into its new tuning and kind of forgives you for changing things. It's basically just because you're now going to have a different tension pulling up on the soundboard and the strings are stretching and that all needs to adjust. Um, but it'll soon settle in after a few days or maybe a week and um, then it will be back to like how it was before. Pretty reliable and not going out of tune as you're playing it, hopefully. <laughs> this is my last one. The top strings don't need to be turned quite as drastically, so it just turns very slowly with your higher strings. And that's it. So now my harp should be roughly in tune in the key of C. So let's just check it by um, checking one, one octave, one scale. So we're gonna start from the C and pluck every string going up until the next C and it should sound like a happy major scale. Yay, it's in C. <laughs> and it should be showing up on your tuner. Every note should be showing up as just that letter name. So a C, an E, an A, a B, no flats, no sharps showing up on your tuner. You got it, well done. Now it's gonna be so much easier to understand your harp and what key you're in. 
So I'm just going to turn my harp around so I can show you what's happening with the levers. So now when our levers are down, we're in C major. And any time we move a lever, it changes from being a natural, in this case an F natural. When I put the lever up, it becomes an F sharp. And it's going to be really easier for you to understand because none of your levers are going to be involved in making flats at all. It's just going to be everything down. It's a natural, normal note. When you put it up, it becomes a sharp. So let's talk through what keys you can play in now and what different lever configurations there'll be. And if, as you're hearing me talk through this, if it seems really confusing to you, don't worry, I've got a handout for you that's like a quick guide to knowing what levers to put up or down to be in what particular key you're looking for. And um, so if you'd like to get that quick guide, then there's a link up in the cards or down in the description box. And you can get that when you, when someone tells you you need to play in the key of G, then it's just gonna tell you exactly what levers to put up if your harp is tuned in C like it is now. Okay, but let me demonstrate it for you. So when all your levers are down, you're gonna be in the key of C. If you wanna get in the key of G, you put your F levers up. To be in the key of D, you put your C levers up as well. To get into the key of A, you put your G levers up too. To get into the key of E, you also put your D levers up. To get into the key of B, you put your A levers up as well. To get into the key of F sharp, which you're very unlikely to want to play in, but I may as well tell you, you put all your E levers up. And if you want to play in the key of C sharp, which you probably won't want to, but then you'd put all your B levers up. And now you're in the key of C sharp. So you can play in any key all the way from all the levers down, you'll be in C major. And then if all your levers are up, you'd be in C sharp major. So you can only play in keys that have either no sharps or sharps. You won't be able to play in any keys that have flats, but that's okay, we're keeping things simple. Now I'm gonna quickly show you how to tune your harp into C major if it's a lap harp or a harpsicle like mine or a small harp that has fewer strings. It's exactly the same, you just, with a lap harp you may find that you have zither pins where um, the pins are on the same side as the levers and you'll just tune using your left hand, but basically it's the exact same concepts, all the E's, A's and B's need to go from being flats, you tune them up a half step until they are naturals. So I'm just going to do it quickly now and you can watch how quick and easy it is. Then A. So you might be a little afraid to do it as quickly as I did and maybe it's better for you to take it slow step by step and use the earlier part of the video even if you have a lap harp it'll work. Just follow along with me and as I tell you to move it up a half step and just watch your tuner going up into when it shows a natural note without the, sh the flat or the sharp of, of the other key and um, it's gonna be it's gonna work out for you so now your harp is tuned in the key of C and life will be so much easier because you'll just know that up is a sharp down is a natural <laughs> um, so if you enjoyed today's video maybe you'll enjoy watching this video over here make sure you subscribe the button should be down over there and if you still want that PDF of the quick guide to how to set your harp into different keys with the levers then you can click the link that's on the screen right now I think it's going to be somewhere down over there <laughs> and then I'll see you in the next video bye